Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today I'll be reacting to episode 9 of 13 Seasons Right. What? I will be reacting to episode 9 of 13 Reasons Why Season 2 and I'm really, really loving it because last episode they really kind of just boiled over and the action just started pouring out and shit went down. Um, and it got really, really good and really like one of the best episodes of the season, so I'm really excited for the next one to see what happens next and to see who testifies next because usually they allude to who's testifying next, but last episode they didn't do that. So I'm really excited to find out who is next on the testimony list. Anyway, let's shut up and let's just watch the show. Let's go. My name is Kevin Porter. Oh! I'm a guidance counselor at Liberty High School. Oh, fuck yes. In communications class, crazy as it was, was human contact for me. Just like I did. Hey. Oh. Oh, Mrs. Bradley. Ken, uh, what are you doing here on a Sunday? You need what to stop. I need everything to stop. Just people, life. What did you mean when you said you needed life to stop? I don't know. I'm thinking about killing myself. If she has said those words, of course I would have taken action. Did you have an encounter at the party? I got into a hot tub with Bryce Walker. And then he raped me. You can you, you can tell the difference because her hair is different. And they're showing like what he wanted her to say. So it's a bit, it's very um intense. But I'm glad he's got this regret, 100%. We can have the best intentions and still fall short. I don't know his number. I imagine the phone company will have it in our records. Jesus, why do you care? He had a bed, he had food, he had new clothes, and a new phone, apparently, and he didn't want any of it. So why don't we just let him go? The past few weeks have been stressful around here for all of us. Let's move. Let's start over somewhere, just you and me. Clay, it's... It's not permanent. Your mom and I are just cooling off. Have you ever said anything even remotely resembling the filth that came out of his mouth? It was a setup. He was drunk. That was not our son talking. You're his mother, for Christ's sake. You raised him. You can't hide in this town with that car. Hey, that's what I did? You're sitting when you should be boxing. Yes, years and years <laughs> in the background. <laughs> the trial. Now, these tapes. Yeah, that's some shit, and I... I never lost a friend like that, but if you want to talk about it, I'm not going to be right until after I testify. I'm sorry. Now, was that so hard? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> yes, actually. I can only control the time. Sorry, I'm back. I'm tired. I missed you too, Mom. It's just nothing. What'd you get into out there? I'm not trying to be blind and hand, but you can move on. You know what? This is like actually the best thing because he deserved to feel this way. Because he could have helped, like he he had it, like he had it right there. He could have saved her. I can understand her silence. Hey, buddy. Get the fuck off him. Listen, it's, it's been a while since we talked. I know I beat the shit out of you, and I'm I'm sorry about that. But I got no beef with you. Watch yourself. I don't know how you got to Marcus. Mr. Jensen. Principal Bowman would like to see you, now. Fuck you, Bryce. I understand. Yes, I offered resources, including phone numbers for crisis hotlines. So you told them to look somewhere else for help, is that right? I made available every resource that I could. Was this the only student whose writing suggested emotional distress last semester? No. It happens a lot. And isn't it true that you did offer resources to students in need? Yes. 
I write it up every day in class for weeks. So when you say that it's pretty clear Hannah didn't want to be identified. Objection, cause for speculation. Sustained. Hannah chose not to identify herself and accept your offers for additional resources. True? True. Um, team for it. They don't understand it. That's why the questions? adults are there. Uh, I left a message with your mother about your unexcused absence on Friday. My mother doesn't live with us anymore. The same day, Hannah Baker's tapes were posted online. Oh, fuck you, Principal mm -hmm. Bowling. Two people, but we're not allowed to talk about that. Suicide contagion is a real thing, and we've got to take measures to protect you kids. I don't now. How does silence protect us? Kids exactly. are talking about Hannah, maybe even admiring what she did. They might think somehow that this is an answer. There might be a way for other kids to feel their pain. Maybe they just wanted to start a conversation. I mean, we weren't talking about these things before Hannah. No, of course we were. In counseling so Oh my god, I feel like this is a slow dig to all the haters of 13 Reasons Why and why the show is worth being on the air and not should be taken off like everyone, a lot of people say. Sessions and health classes. That's not talking, that's telling. Have you even listened to them? The tapes? I bet you he hasn't. No. I See? was made aware of them by Mr. Porter, but we brought them directly to our attorneys. I didn't listen to them. You fucking idiot. You have no idea. Maybe you should. Yeah, exactly. I did. Are you in the habit of ripping pages out of your schedule book? I... Look, there was a lot of confusion going around at that, that time after I found out what Hannah had done. That Hannah Baker had been raped by a student at Liberty High? She never used the word Yes, rape. but it was obvious, Mr. Porter. It's not clear that it was a sexual assault. Oh, oh Mr. Porter. Fill in the gaps? No, my Thank job you. is to ask questions, and I did. What was clear was that she was uncomfortable. Read right between the lines, Mr. Porter. Do you believe Hannah was raped? Hell yeah. I didn't uh, necessarily think so. Seriously? At the time, but... Yes, I believe that she was. By a student at Liberty. Yes, Your but he knows now. believes that Hannah was raped, which means he now believes that Hannah came to his office with a serious problem. The school's response to that problem and their failure to discipline the offender is relevant. Name the son of a bitch. Overruled. We'll object again, Your Honor. It's a violation of FERPA for this student to be named. Your Honor, Why? the witness didn't come by this information in a confidential setting. Mr. Porter. Name the son of a bitch. Do you know the name of the student that raped Hannah Baker? Name the son of a bitch. Name it. Name him. Name the son of a bitch. Name the son of a bitch. You're gonna make or break the trial. I have since come to learn that his name is Bryce Walker. Oh, fuck yes! Oh, Mr. Porter finally did something good in his life! I'm so excited right now. The biggest lie in the book. But I'm happy for you, Chloe. Chloe, Avoid the sound of the bitch. I know we talked a little bit on Friday about how Hannah made all that stuff up. Every girl at the school wants to be raped. The truth is, uh, Hannah and I hooked up, and it, it didn't mean anything to me, but, but she got, like, obsessed. And she said all that stuff to get back at me. Fuck you, Bryce. Why didn't you tell me any of this before? I'm sorry, I know. I should have. You don't believe him, do you? feel terrible about what happened to him. Don't pull on the waterworks. You might have to hear all that shit. Oh my god. So, um, are you and your parents all good? Max said you guys had like a family emergency. I had to oh. pick her up from the crest, mom. Yeah, no, uh, everything's totally fine now. We're friends. And, uh, dating your sister just kind of felt like I was crossing a line. But I don't, I, I will ever, never want to disrespect you or Mackenzie. Oh man, we're done with Marcus. What? Why? He got suspended. I don't think we can talk that. What? Holy suspended. shit, that's amazing. People are finally starting to pay attention. They're starting to see these fucking hypocrites for who they are. So three stops in town for supplies. Gas station, mall place, Ralphie's pet store. The pet store? You trust me. We're gonna wait for car to take the service road, and then we're gonna rush the stuff in, and boom. Are you in the right place? Huh. Apparently. Why? I mean, what are you here for? Truancy, grudges, the hypocrisy of high school administrators. Dude, 
We've never officially met, but you helped me fix my bike gym once freshman year. Have balls. <laughs> I mean, we heard you literally getting the shit kicked out of you, and you're coughing up blood, and you still keep fucking talking to him? I mean, damn. Uh, thanks? No. Thank you. That a sexual assault had taken place. You read between the fucking lines. <laughs> yes. And is it not true that she refused to name this alleged attacker? Yes. And isn't it true, Mr. Porter, that you listened, inquired, and offered her suggestions to address the concerns she did share? I could have done more. Oh. I could have stopped her from walking out that door. Nothing further, Your Honor. She Shut could just leave. I'll let her go. Nothing further, Mr. Shut Porter. up! Thank you. I'd like to redirect. This fucking lawyer shuts all them up when they're trying to confess. Look, I can't let you walk out that door. Why? What else is there to say? Listen, what happened to you was not your fault. You don't know what happened to me. And if my daughter were older, I would tell her the same thing. That men, they can control themselves. Everybody can. Everybody acts like consent is this complicated thing, but it's not. Mr. Porter. Listen, listen to me. It wasn't your fault. You have so much life to live. You have so much. And you're going to get... You're gonna get through this. I'm gonna help you. But it is too late. I'm dead. That's just powerful. When she says stuff like that, like they're trying to yeah, they're trying to do and say what they should have said, but before she died, and then she just comes back and goes, "It's fucking too late. I'm dead." But it's it's some real, girls. I was just trying to do the, the right thing. I was following protocol. Protocol probably needs to change. Miss Baker, I didn't mean to let your daughter down. hate Mr. Porter because he fucked up and he could have helped her but now this season it's kind of his redemption because he helped in the trial and he understands where he's went wrong even though it sucks because Hannah did die and we're like oh Hannah's dead so why are you even bothering but this is important because one mistake should not define your entire life second chances are real the messages in this episode are crazy <laughs> What the fuck? Who the fuck is that? No, it's the one just gets hit up again. Unmask your fucking selves, you fucking cowards. I believe Bryce. I know he's he's got a good heart. Are, are you sure that you're okay? With him and everything. Yeah, no, we're good. I can't believe she can be that clueless. You can tell Bryce I believe him. All the evidence is fucking right there. Cool. He's not on Bryce's side, though. Well, he shouldn't be. Dude, your friends are really cool. I love that they know nothing about me. Right? So, is Gary coming? Uh, no. <laughs> oh. Are they the best influence for you right now? What? Why? Because they're black? Is that a serious question? Have you looked at me lately? I'm glad she's doing so well though, like she's really... Hey, can we please not tell mom? <laughs> <laughs> you better believe. <laughs> Me and Tyler, we don't have the power. We get shit on, pushed around. Now you're one of us too. You think? You are. Dude. But well, we're gonna take some of that power back tonight, me and Tyler. What are you talking about? Don't tell him. Tell me what? 
We can't trust him. We hate the same people, Tyler. That doesn't mean anything. It does, though. What the fuck, Cyrus? It means he's got plenty of reasons to fuck shit up, just like us. Oh, fuck. Protect them all. <laughs> God, there's so much shit. You just sort of help me. When kids feel powerless, oh. they feel they have no avenue for understanding. Spray painting the baseball court. They act out. Fuck. <laughs> Is he outlining? Tyler's kind of OCD. I misspelled hypocrite on the Marx's window. He freaked out. Wait, that, that paint bomb? Guilty. <laughs> Wait a minute. Holy shit. Fuck, that's the room. That was close. Were they partying back there? I, I gotta go. Wait, what about the big finale? Uh, I, I gotta, um, I, I just figured something out. I'm sorry, but I gotta go. That's the place from the Polaroids. Justin, Justin why are you leaving town? <gasps> He can. Clay. He needs you, Justin. Trust each other. Oh, my Clay and Justin. We have to ask for help. Thanks for coming. I found the clubhouse. My boys, oh, I love them way too much. But is it in a symbol or something? Fuck, shit is getting fucked up. Everything is going insane. Okay. I personally really, really loved that episode because it showed finally Mr. Porter really understanding that how much he screwed up and he's been dealing with it for a really, really long time and <coughs> he basically confronted all the shit that he did and helped them in court instead of just sticking with what the school wanted them what it wanted him to do so i really appreciate that also who's this sarah chick that like mrs baker does not want to testify like what dirt is going to be stirred up in that like i have no idea that's going to be some interesting shit and alex is starting to remember something so i hope they reveal that in the next episode um and clay found the clubhouse and then Clay and Justin are working together. Those boys, I love them together. Like, I love how they develop this friendship and connection and they're supporting one another. And that's something that's grown in this season that I love so much is that all this support together. Like, obviously, since the beginning of the season, they've kind of separated as well um, away from their big group. It's kind of little bits and pieces, but obviously they won't show it in every episode either. But... Another point that I have to address is Chloe. Chloe is saying she is um, agreeing with Bryce. And that is a bit like your initial reaction is like, are you fucking clueless? Like, what the hell are you doing? But now thinking about it more deeper, I can see that she's probably trying to cover and protect herself by saying that she's with Bryce. 
Because if she says she's not with Bryce, then she could be in some big shit. Like, Bryce could stir some big, heavy shit up with her. So that is really dangerous and really scary, and I think we need to be paying attention to that so then she can be free. And next episode, I hope they, like, break into the clubhouse or get some shit done, because... What's that? Episode 9. We have, like, four episodes to go. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, make sure you give a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure to click subscribe so you know when all my um, videos get posted. And I'm targeting a 7,000 subscriber count very soon. So make sure if you're not subscribed, you subscribe. Also, make sure you leave or check out this description box because all my social media links are there. And I think that's all I've got. So I will see you guys next time.